Hello friends, welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda from Mexico and today I will show you how to knit this poncho. Today the tutorial will be incredible. This poncho is so easy, it's in one size and it's so comfortable, knitted with two needles. It is perfect if you knit for sale. This kind of garment gives you more chances to sell them. I will give you the material list to start right away. 3 skein yarn of Alice Show. I love this yarn, it's so beautiful and knit it looks more beautiful too. We will also need one embroidery needle and needles of number 6. At the end, I will share the address and phone numbers where you can get all of these materials. With one thread and with our needles of number 6, we will cast on. I will do it like this. We will cast on 140 stitches. Look. Once you finish casting on, we will distribute them, 45 for each side and 14 for the braid, so it will be 45 needed, look. Once we finish knitting 45 stitches, use a marker to indicate where to start the braid and let's start knitting three pour, like this. One, two, and three. And then knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then three pour eight for the braid because we will divide four and four once you finish the three pour mark them using a marking like this one and now the 45 left that will be needed as usual Once we finish, turn over and we will pass the first one without knitting and we will continue knitting the 45 stitches. And then look, knit 3 and 3 and now we will start doing 8 pours 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and knit 3 look then Knit the 45 stitches. In the other row will be the same like this until we have 5 rows. This will be the beginning. Look, here I have 5 rows. It has to look like this from this side and like this from the other side. From here we will start knitting as it goes. These 45 stitches will be poor, one row with poor and the other row normal knitted.
from here as it goes and coming back we will start reducing. I will pass the first stitch and now all the stitches will be poured. All of those are poured. So here we have 45 boards. And now 3 knit stitches, a pour. Look. Those here are knitting stitches and those are poor. Knit 3 and the last 45 stitches, all, all of them will be poor. Here we are finishing the poor road. And here we are forming the stuck in a stitch. In the forward side, we will reduce always in the middle, where is the braid. So well now we will pay attention. We will need 45 stitches. This will be the forward side. Look, here I have been knitting 43 stitches, and then here comes pores and 8 knit stitches. So here the last two of the 45 stitches will be knitted together to reduce the stitches. Like this. Look, he already made the reduction. 3 pour, knit 8, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 8, 3 pour. Look. Look, here is where we made a reduction. 3 pour, 8 knit, 3 pour, look. So we will continue and again here we will knit 2 together. Look, we are going to twist them. Like this. Look, I will do it again and knit them together. Look. I do it like this because it has to look the same way here and here. We will continue knitting. And we will come back knitting as it goes, like this, like we did before. We finish the forward side road. Turn over your tissue and remember that we pass the first stitch without knitting and that we don't have 45 stitches anymore because we reduced them. Then pour all the stitches onto the middle and we will knit those as we did before without reducing until the next row. Now in the forward side, we are going to reduce in the middle and we are going to twist them with this hook. Okay, so let's start. We are going to pass the first one without knitting and then knit the others until two stitches before the braid. So we will continue until here. Look, here I am, two stitches before the braid. So I will take them together to reduce. Pour three and now we are going to twist the braid. We will take the half of it, depending on the stitches you have. In this case, we are going to take three. 
look like this and we are going to place them in front of our tissue like this okay so let's need the next four one two three and four and those stitches that we have here we are going to place them in the left needle like this and these stitches will be knitted and like this the braid will be twisted now pour three one two and three and we will twist again remember let two stitches go first take this one and then this one we will come back twisting the stitch and knit them and it has to look the same that in the other side we will continue knitting as we have been made when we twist the stitch is to have this thread like this here there are two counts that we have to be aware of we will go and come back with pour remember that in the forward side we have to reduce one stitch of each side of the braid and then the braid every eight rows will be twisted I suggest to use the row counter, I have this one and this one every time I make a row I click it like this so I'm counting my rows like this so in this case every 8 rows we have to twist the braid in the 8th row remember here put your counter in zero to start knitting again until eight like this with the help of the counter we will continue remember to reduce stitches when in the forward side and every eight rows twist the braid look here I get a head on and here I have this tissue look how beautiful it looks look the colors as you can see here is where I reduce the stitches and here is where I twist the braid this is the beginning this is where we are now Here we are now like here so we will continue like this it will take a triangle form because we are reducing the stitches from here so we will continue like this until we have 10 stitches here and here and the 14 stitches of the braid here I pinned off, but then I will cast on again those stitches to continue knitting. But first I have to have the other side ready to join them. We have to have both sizes ready and I will tell you how to sew them and join them to form the neck. Look, here I have both sizes. Remember this side that I have already knitted? Well, I will cast on those stitches very carefully to have all of our stitches together. Like this. So we will have 40 stitches and 14 of each braid.
Once you finish casting on, we will start knitting the neck. There are many ways that you can make the elastic. In this case, I will knit two and pour two. And like this, several rows until we have the height of our necks. For now on, we will need these stitches like this. If you want, you can change the number of your needle to have this part of the tissue a little bit tight. But be careful, remember that in this hole will be our head. So, let's continue like this several rows until we have the height of our neck. Once you finish those rows, look how it looks. I need 30 rows. You can count them like this. If you want your neck bigger, you should need more rows. We will start being enough. You have to lose your tissue a little bit. It would look better if the tissue is not tied. So let's try. Knit two stitches together and cast on one. And again, remember, don't pull, it has to be loose. It is important that your head fits in this hole. So we will continue. Knit two together and cast on one. And like this, the whole row. Look how beautiful it looks. So let's continue winding off all the stitches. Once we finish bending off, it has to look like this. So now cut a long thread and pull the thread through the last stitch. And with this thread, we will sew and we will join this side with the other side until the end. All the way to the end. And when we finish, we will continue with the other side. I will show you how to sew without edge. Day one is stitch from here. And the other from here. We have to be careful and to keep the order of the sequence. So we will continue like this the whole garment without pull. It has to be loose. So we will continue sewing. And when we finish, we have to iron the garment. In other video, I show you how. So we will continue carefully, look. Look, I finished. Now we are going to hide all the threads and we will iron. If you feel that your poncho roll up, 
like this. You can make one row of middle point with loop all around the garment. Look here with a hook of number 4 or 5. I will hide all of those threads and I will make a row of middle point with loop. You have to knit loose, very very loose. This row is optional, remember. Once I finish this row, I will iron with vapor. So it will continue like this, the whole garment. Look, here in the part of the braid, I will need two in one stitch and in the next one one and then two. This is to form the tip. Look, only here and until here and then we continue until the other side where is the braid. And again we repeat this. And like this is the braid part, remember, in one stitch two and in the next one one. And when this road we finish. Well, what do you think? It looks beautiful and it's so comfortable and easy to wear and perfect for fall and winter. In this color it looks beautiful. Remember it's a lisse yarn. And I'm sure that with other yarn and with other color it will look beautiful too. Thanks for watching, subscribe, activate the notification bells to have news about the channel. I love to teach you and share those ideas with you. Hope you like it. Give me a like, leave all your comments. Thank you. Bye.